And we are speaking with Crash Karma. Gentlemen, pleasure <laughs> to see you. Good to be seen. Uh, you're playing Canadian Music Week and launching a new band. How does it feel, given your backgrounds, to launch a new record and a new band in 2010? A lot different than 2009. <laughs> um, and definitely that's, that would be different from 2008 as well. And we, you know, just depends on the year, I guess, really. <laughs> for, me, for me, it's pretty surreal. Mm. Um, it feels like we're just getting our groove now. I mean, we rehearsed pretty hard for this. And last night was our second show. And it was really, um, there were a couple special moments, I think, during that show, which was always refreshing. Because, um, you know, yes, when you're playing and you're in a band, you're always looking for to get as close as you possibly can to a great, great show. And, mm -hmm. and I think we're, we're getting there. So, yeah, very, very good, but still very surreal to be launching a record and hanging out with your bandmates and friends and so on. It's, it's a great feeling, re refreshing, a little daunting, but... And Amir is probably the least famous member yeah. so far, but... <laughs> But you're the one who brought the rest of the yes. people together. Amir, why did you want to work with these gentlemen um, and Edwin Monke? Um, just being a fan of their, you know, their music, of their abilities, and just you know, listen, growing up and uh, listening to these guys on the radio take over the entire airwaves, um, you get influenced. Obviously, as a musician, um, Edwin's voice always been a big fan of My Mother Earth. You know, Jeff has always been a monster. Mike. I mean, these guys are the guys that help shape. You know. Bands that are from my generation, I'm a bit younger than these guys, so my generation is kind of like, oh, yeah, the Arlie the Peace, the Tea Party, my mother is, that's Canadian rock music to us. You know, and of course, the generations prior to that, you had Rush and, and, and those guys influenced them. And well, don't put us in the same category not to as say, Rush, man. Not to ever suggest, suggest everybody else. else. No, no, but, but really, that's, and that's the truth of the matter, and I mean, you know, being able to play with these guys is, is great. It's a fantastic, it's a great experience. It's, it's another level of professionalism. You know, it's this level, it's a really high level of expertise. I mean, on that level, it's, it can be a bit, you know, challenging at times, not not coming from the same uh, place as them, but you're doing I'm, good. I'm trying to fit in. You're doing good. Right. Jeff and Mike, I sense, having just met Amir, quite the personality. Is that what convinced you to want to work with him? Was well, certainly a big factor. I mean, uh, I worked with Amir on an EP of his own and uh, produced a record for his band, and uh, that those experiences informed who I appreciate him as, you know, a talented, prolific musician, um, a bit of a nut, and I'm the bad guy with the phone. <laughs> this is, this is going directly on YouTube. Gonna... This yeah. is going directly on YouTube. I, uh, see, I don't usually get phone calls, but I don't That's okay. Friends. Talk over it. No, um, it was it was kind of interesting because when he approached me, I thought I was the last guy. <laughs> I, I thought everyone else was already, yeah, we're in. <laughs> I thought that kind of too, didn't you? No. I knew, <laughs> I knew as soon as I said yes, everybody would jump on board. That's right. That's right. Well, well I mean, if I got Jeff, the other two guys get the story's getting old. Let's get to the real, <laughs> this is the real truth now. Okay, we right. met in a restaurant in Vancouver, and you said, that was a mere That was bizarre. Yeah, that was bizarre. We both happened to be in Vancouver, mm. I think Canada Day a couple of years ago, uh, just after Mir's approached us. And uh, I'm like, Burroughs, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> He's like, well, it's, it's I mean, it's sushi. Why I'm not here. I mean, Vancouver, it's Tojo's. What? And uh, yeah, that was that was one of those moments of like maybe there is something beyond us acting here. So yeah. here we are. All right, and you all had your degrees of success with previous bands, obviously Jeff Tea Party, Mike Our Lady Peace, Amir Zygot. Um, what is your ambition for this band? Are your expectations different than perhaps when you were starting out in the music business? For me, definitely. Uh, this is just the experience, you know. Uh, all I wanted out of this, really, for me, all I really wanted was to jam with these guys and have a good time, and it's gone so far beyond that, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I knew there was going to be some excitement about it. I mean, I would be excited as, you know, if I heard about these guys playing together with some other douchebag playing bass, so, you know, I figure everyone else. But you're our douchebag. I'm your douchebag, my people. So, I mean, but, but the band before I me, mean, for me anyways, there's a lot of pressure, like, this has to succeed, this is my livelihood, and, you know, eventually I kind of gave up on that, and I'm like, mm. you know, I'm going to go to school and get some kind of education. So I did that, and then this kind of came up almost, uh, it was it was really strange that this even happened, because I, at, at that point I was like, you know what, music is not paying my bills, there's nothing I can do about it, i got to move on. And this came up, and I was like, whoa, really? Is this really going to happen? Like, that's crazy. So, and it did. And the difference here now is we're just, you know, we're doing this because it's fun. We really get along. 
you know, we, we love hanging out, um, and that's it. And we're just playing, having fun. And as soon as it starts being a big asshole, we're just going to quit. So. Okay. And I'll finish off. A new album, debut album, coming out soon, March 16th yeah. on E1 Music. Yeah. Um, wh what is the essence of Crash Karma? What are people going to be uh, hearing from you guys? I think the thing that, that I'm... You know, what's, now that the record's done, because when you're in the in the throes of making the record, you know, I'm thinking, is, it, is the snare got too much rattle on it? You know, is the guitar tone this? And, and everyone's, you know, got their own little minutia. And now that I've had a chance to sort of appreciate the album and take it in as a whole, the thing that's really interesting to me is is hearing the voices of the people that I, I, I knew previously, and obviously Amir from, from working previously, and just hearing them in new contexts. Like Burroughs, he's okay. <laughs> Ed, pretty damn good. Not too me, I, I get by. But, and, and we all encourage each, each other to be very much what we are as musicians without being, um, without ever letting it feel, uh, you know, derivative of ourselves or, or in any kind of sort of self-parodying thing. But hearing, you know, what Jeff does around what Amir, me, and Ed do, it's suddenly it's like, whoa, oh, there's, there's what I always loved about Jeff. So that, that new context for me is what I'm really enjoying hearing on the record. Good luck. My perspective is a little different on that. If I could just, I just want to add to that. Yeah. Because being on the outside, you know, and hearing them, I really, I think, as a, as a music fan, you, you kind of, you get a different understanding of what they do. You get, you hear it differently than they hear themselves. Like I hear what Ed sings, I know what it, what it sounds like. Ed, you know, what it sounds like. Ed, this sounds like Edwin. This sounds like Levitate. This sounds like, you know, that voice. Mike, when he's playing guitar, that sounds like, you know, the Mike from Our Lady Peace and Jeff from Tea Party. I think I can hear them do perform as themselves, sometimes even a little better than they can hear themselves. I can hear it You know what, Mike? That doesn't sound so much like you. Like, just be you. Okay, fuck it. And he just throws it down. I'm like, that's Mike Turner. And there's been a couple of moments like that while we're recording where we're listening to Ed sing. It's like, it doesn't really sound like you. And he's like, well, well, that's me. What the fuck do you want? Get out of here. You know, I'm so sketchy. But eventually we get to say, and he sounds, and he sounds like Ed. It's like everyone just yeah. relaxes. Yeah. Right. It's like, that sounds like Kevin. That's him. That's it. Get it. So I. I being on the outside, I can hear them be themselves, play the way they do, and it just, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's and awesome. together it's Crash Karma. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you.